Hey, what's happening there, everyone? This is Yummy Mash. Welcome to Welcome to the Game 2. Um, it's been a long time since I've played this game, if you guys recall from many, many, many years ago. This is a dark web horror game where we have to uh, investigate the kidnapping and the disappearance of a young woman who went missing, and we go onto the deep web to like look for her to find the red room, and you have to acquire. I believe it's eight codes and when you get all eight codes you can access the red room and then you can find her location and save her so we're playing as like uh like feels, feels like an investigator of some sort and we're gonna venture deep into the dark web to try and find this missing woman and as we dig deeper people come to kill me or to kidnap me or the police get involved and they might swap me and bad things can happen uh, it's a pretty scary game. This is a really good classic horror game and it's, it's been a very long time uh, since you know I uploaded this onto YouTube. I think I made a video on this uh, over five years ago so it's kind of crazy. Alright here we go. So we're getting called by Adam who is like our, uh, like our friend and then like our co-worker in this investigation. I heard you were looking for me. Check this out. It might help you on your case. Yeah it's a Thank link to the website. I've been monitoring for the past hour, and every so often a different girl shows up asking for help. They think they are streaming to their face page, but it seems the people holding them are rerouting their stream to this platform. They might be cutting off all cellular data except for their face page. At least, that's what I think they are doing. Oh, wait. Here comes a new girl. My name is Amelia Lewis. Someone has kidnapped me. I don't know where the fuck I am. It's it's dark and, and freezing. And I think there's blood on the floor. <laughs> the comments are so freaky. There's some weirdos on the dark web. I was just researching something and I found this cult called the the prey. Did she call it the shadow web? Is that another name of calling it? I just saw these, these fucked up images and these men in masks and then I woke up here. Hello? I, I need to hide. I need to hide. Interesting. She's screwed. The shadow web is a whole Oh, the shadow web. Requires special software. Ah. Oh, that answers my question. Which is interesting because they mostly operate on the normal deep web. I have a feeling that she might have stumbled across something more sinister. And they're using the prey as a front. Hold on. Let me look into this a little bit further. I do wonder if she got more likes, like, uh, saves, like, uh, to not die votes. Would she be let go, or would they just still kill her anyway? Because obviously, she's got 262 deads and uh, 15 knots. I, I I would imagine, like, even if she had, like, uh, more knots, which is never going to happen, but if she did, they'd still kill her anyway. That's, that's what I think. I just saw someone. I don't know if he saw me, but it's definitely them. He was wearing the same mask. I don't know how the fuck they got to me, but they did. Seems Amelia's a reporter just like you. She might have dug a little too deep and caught the attention of some twisted individuals. She keeps on mentioning men in masks, which reminds me of a document I read a while back. They are more of a cult. No one really knows their official name, but online we refer them to as Noir. Hmm. And to your desktop. as a like reporter ourselves or an investigator, as we dig into the deep web here, the Noir can also kidnap us. I even got much of a choice in the matter, have you? Your life is in my hands. <laughs> Your life is in the hands of Yammy Mash. Good luck. Yeah, any and all advice is very much appreciated, everybody. Oh god, she's getting like 3G signal now. They're messing with her internet connection. I'm pretty sure they know where she is. So like 
holding your breath isn't going to help. They put you there in the first place. I trust Yami with my life and my life savings. Alright, so we get the gist of it. So she's been kidnapped and our mission is to try and save her. And to save her, we need to venture down the dark web uh, rabbit hole here. So let's open... Uh, go away, Adam. Let's open the zero day market here. We're going to buy a sky break, which allows us to farm DOS coins. Um, and this only costs 8 DOS coins, so we'll get that. We'll also get two of these backdoor hacks here. And the backdoor hacks, uh, how this helps is uh, as we play the game, they're going to be hackers that are trying to stop our progress going down the deep web and they're going to try and take uh, the codes and any information we uncover. So these backdoor hacks just rewards us with additional DOS coin uh, as we um, stop the hacks. And uh, let's just get this sky break real, qu real quick and then we're going to have to venture down into the alleyway. So let's do that. Then we're going to disconnect our internet because we don't want the police tracking us. Let's grab the flashlight real fast. And uh, we're going to go downstairs to the alleyway now. So we're going to leave our apartment. And uh, we're going to go grab the Skybreak that we do just purchased. Uh, which is delivered via Amazon Drone Delivery. So anything we buy in this game, uh, unless it's a piece of software, is delivered to the alleyway at the bottom of this apartment here. And uh, it's a bit of a shady service, it's delivered via drone service, and uh, yeah, we go grab it, and we install it. Um, luckily, because we're right at the beginning of the game, we can just play very recklessly right now. We can just run straight through doors. Uh, it's extremely unlikely, as far as I'm aware, that we'll get uh, get attacked or kidnapped by the Noir. So uh, we're just going to run straight down here, and we're going to grab this Skybreaker that we just purchased. Uh, this game can take a very long time. Uh, it's one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. Uh, it's incredibly difficult to beat. Um, so we're just going to do our best here. And uh, we're just going to play it for the fun of the gameplay and just see if we can get a few codes. Uh, here's the Amazon drone delivery. Uh, this is the future, everyone. So when you order a new shirt or an a new pair of pants on Amazon, uh, that's how it's going to be delivered to your door. There we go. Also, there's a serial killer that like comes down this alleyway here called the Breather, but we don't have to worry about him just yet as far as I'm aware. I feel like if I die now, it's just incredibly unlucky. And I've never, ever died in the first two minutes of playing the game, so I'm not too paranoid. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, go and install this Skybreak. What it is, is it's a cryptocurrency farmer. It's like one of those farming, farming rigs, but it's like a little small device that you stick on a wall and you get signal. So let's go grab it from our apartment real quick and uh, let's just start farming a few of those DOS coins. Uh, by the way, disclaimer, uh, I'm a bit of a noob. Uh, I don't know that much about this game Like in, in terms of a great deal. I've played it uh, probably about half a dozen times over the past few weeks. So uh, I'm, I'm not exactly a pro at this game, but... Uh, I'm going to do my best, and I know a little bit, so we're just going to play this together and experience it. So let's grab this DOS coin farmer right here, and uh, let's see where we can shove it on the wall here. We want it to turn green for it to have an effect, and it's completely RNG uh, whether we're going to farm a decent amount of coins or not. I kind of want to get like... Uh, I want to see the number be around 5 or 6 at least. For me to maybe keep it but we'll see there's a bunch of different places we can shove this and it'll, it'll uh, farm a different number of dos coins it's completely random uh, but we'll just we'll just try our look for a, for a moment here and see what we uh, uncover so let's go down the stairs here and uh, yeah let's see what we can get let's go in here we need it to be green, it can't be yellow or red or else it's not going to farm a great deal of DOS coin at all. There we go, that's green. Uh, you can also see that it has two bars of signal in the bottom right corner. So if, you, if you're colorblind or something and you can't see green then the two bars of signal kind of gives it away. Let's go back up. Okay, so we just got... I don't think that's a very good one, guys. Um, oh, my bad. 
3.45, 280 seconds. That's not very good at all. No, we can do better than that. Let's try and put it upstairs. So yeah, we're going to mess around with the DOS coin farmer for a bit now. Um, we're just going to try different locations and we need to get more or less double uh, compared to what we just had there. So that was three every 280 seconds or something, which is quite terrible. Uh, we need to get like half that realistically. So we're going to try. Let's try up the stairs now. Oh, let's try there. Um, that's actually quite decent. We're going to keep that one. Let's lock the door. Alright, let's begin the game. So we're going to reconnect our internet now. And uh, we're going to start. So I'm going to grab another back door hacked while I'm, while I'm here. <clears throat> so now we need to go onto the dark web or the deep web, however you guys refer to it as. And we're going to start trying to uncover some of these uh, keys, these codes. Um, and yeah, we're going to try and save this woman who's been kidnapped so these are all the pages or the links to each of the websites this is the first level or the first layer of the deep wiki here so it gets more dangerous as we dig deeper and as we uncover more they get a little bit more uh, a little bit more hectic on trying to stop me so we're, we're gonna have to dig around now you have to go into the source code of each of the websites and you need to browse through and try and find links. Um, they usually end with dot ann dot an. So you have to keep your eyes open. Sometimes you have to hover your mouse over the website and the cursor will change. If you can click something, and usually when you can click something, if it's not an obvious link, it will uh, spawn a code. So there's nothing on the acid page. We'll try burial, we'll try freezing, and uh, we'll just keep our eyes open for, um, for any codes here. Okay, let's check the source code and we're just going to browse through again I, I don't see anything um, also you can get the uh, the link to the deep wiki too uh, as you check the source codes and stuff so sometimes you get keys sometimes you get links okay and let's check the source code for this page and again I, I don't see anything again so as far as I'm aware we've done a good uh, good look into this website and there is nothing uh, thank you for the follow Dark Carnival let's go back now and check the next page okay let's try Cotton Road yeah, there are some really screwed up web pages on this game. Um, all the all the weirdest, freakiest, fetish fetish sized, strangest things you'll find on this game. But it's to be expected, you know, on the on the deep wiki. Don't waste it. A toilet and a face. Take of that what you will, guys. Check on the click on the toilet, and uh, yeah, we just do some digging now. It can start off pretty slow paced, but um, it does get faster paced as you uncover more. And this game can really fuel your adrenaline because, firstly, because it's such a tricky game with so much RNG and it can take so long to even get close to beating. As you do better, and as you uncover more codes, and as you dig deeper into the deep wiki. Um, it can become pretty uh, pretty intense because you don't think you'd ever get that far. And this is yet another messed up website. 
very satanic like let's check the code nothing in the source code and as far as I'm aware there's nothing I can click on here I mean I can make it full screen but uh, yeah I don't see anything here so let's uh, go off but yeah I've uh, not been in this game this is my uh, first experience here but well, I say first experience I've been playing this game for a few weeks now but um, I do plan on beating this game at some point. I just know that this is going to take uh, a long time for me to firstly get good enough at to be. And secondly, uh, I need a lot of time and a lot of attempts, I think, just based on uh, RNG and luck. I think this is one of those games that even if you're incredibly good at it, you, you, need, uh, you need a lot of time. And I, and I think a lot, of, uh, a lot of practice, a lot of attempts to, to beat and crave okay let's look through the source code here and I love this horror game because this could be relatable in a sense you know you're just alone in your apartment and people just break in and kill you we found a code by the way guys here it is you see it right here HTTP and it ends with dot and this should be the link to the deep wiki too so let's save that let's write this down into my notepad here There we go. I'm also going to write this down in my notepad on my real life computer in case I lose a hack and I lose all my stuff. There we go. So we did it guys. That's a very good start. What is this? I didn't know I could click on this before. I, I could have sworn I've been on this website before and it never gave me the option to click that picture. Oh that is weird. The gate is open. Creepy. You have been warned. Oh god. This gives me the heebie-jeebies, guys. I don't like this. Uh, let's scroll through this text here. Nothing. He looks up. It kind of looks like Einstein. If Einstein was an old lady <laughs> and had an, an extra eye, uh, yeah. There's nothing here. That was weird. Let's go back. Um. Let's let's keep scrolling. We we haven't been hacked yet. Shockingly, there's like four different mini games for when you get hacked, and you have to um. You have to stop the hack by beating the mini games, and if they hack you, they steal your DOS coin. They can give your computer viruses. They can wipe your notepad clean, so you lose uh, your links and your codes. It can be quite annoying. Father Donald. Why does that remind me of Donald Trump? I don't know. I don't know if I'd be concerned if Donald then was I my saw father. Yay. Him who Shall we join the purge, everybody? Presence, what we got? I low-key love the sound of the fire crackling. It's quite relaxing, actually. This could be like a form of ASMR. I would like. I would low-key listen to this guy. I mean, I probably won't be listening to anything he's really saying, but I like the sound of it. It's a nice sound. Nothing there. Let's join the purge, guys. I don't know what the purge is exactly, but I feel like it can't be good. Okay. Hopefully they're like not saying everything on fire. No, there's nothing. Okay, let's go back. We're gonna need to uh, move the Wi-Fi in a second, so I will do that soon. It's ten thirty-six. Let's check flame. We'll do at least one more website, then I'll quickly swap the Wi-Fi. If you don't move the Wi-Fi, the police can track you, and then they swat your apartment, and it's GG's game over. So we definitely don't want that happening. Flesh trade? A community looking for members or members to trade human flesh. Okay, let's try rule of three. Where is that? Um, Illuminati? Oh. Okay, let's move the uh, dongle. 
There we go. Could quickly check my notes and go to Deep Wiki too, and then see if that website's there. Let's do that. I'm gonna favorite this, and then we're gonna go to this website, and we'll see if the rule of three is there. The rule of three, there it is. Let's do this. Okay, this is a extremely fun mini game. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> oh god, middle, right, left. Yeah, this website is, uh, oh, fuck, this website is all about trial and error. Okay. Oh god! Oh! No! No! Let's freaking go, everyone. There's the link to the Deep Wiki 3. We got it. Holy F, guys. It's done. Whew. Let's write that down in my notepad. This is Deep Wiki 3. We now have the links to both of the Deep Wikis. I'm also going to write this on my notepad IRL as well. There we go. And we did it. Yo, Ghost, thank you so much for the gift of serve. Appreciate it. Welcome, Tim. Enjoy your sub, mate. Okay, we are done with that. We can leave now. Damn, that website is uh, 10 out of 10 on the difficulty meter. Tons of trial and error to do that one. Uh, we're back to the uh, original deep wiki, so we'll just stay here. And uh, we'll just continue. Let's try to forgive me. I could get a couple more backdoor... Uh, Backdoor hacks here actually, so let's just do that while we're here. Um, it is this one. Let's get, let's have five. 
And I have a cup of tea, everybody. A nice, hot, delicious cup of tea. Hello? Anybody out there? Okay, we good. Power has been supplied. Let's lock that. Let's move this back. And let's continue. I'm getting a backdoor hack. And uh, we'll try the page now. Alright, so far so good guys. Uh, we've done uh, we've done pretty awesome in terms of progression here. We have the links to both Deep Wiki, Deep Wiki 2, Deep Wiki 3 and we're actually quite early on in the game. It's only 10.51pm. Um, okay, this is an interesting website. stolen the cookie from the cookie jar guys um let's see oh I int on league and um like to see cast rage My sin has been cleansed, guys! Lovely. Did the game give me a, a nice juicy code for cleansing my sins? No? That's a shame. Oh, whatever. I feel a lot better now. I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> this website is literally F you. Can't connect to FU. I guess everyone loves me. We've got almost 25 DOS coin. I would like more DOS coin though. Again, nothing. Uh. Hey there, Band Slam. How you doing? I think we'll get hacked soon, guys. It's been we haven't been hacked once yet, and that's very shocking, considering how many websites we've clicked on here and the amount of time that's like elapsed. Yeah, let's have a little bit of this cup of tea. It gives power. Ah, delicious. Ugh. Oh god. This is disgusting! Oh, yuck! What are those sound effects? There's like pimples and whatever else, guts and blood, this is horrible. Nothing for me to click on here. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a code on this website. That was horrible. Let's go move the, uh, let's move the Wi-Fi dongle. There we go. Oh man, that was horrible! Ok, 
Okay, let's see if we can uncover anything. I would love to get like a code real soon for you guys so you can all see what a code looks like. Bye, Slendly. I love how everyone calls you that now. Okay, keep your eyes open, guys. Eyes on the prize. There's no code there. Let's scroll through the website now. Hover over the pictures. Okay, we can also... Oh, there's no uh, links to any of the pages. Okay, that's fine. God, 11 o'clock, we haven't been hacked once. I am surprised. I could trigger some hacks by just clicking off websites like constantly, but kind of like what order I'm going in right now. Let's check the source code. Oh, my bad. Didn't mean to do that. No. Mortal masks. So, like some serial killer from the deep web is like flaying people's faces off and then turning them into masks for DOS coin. It's a very strange business practice, but I'm guessing he's making decent money from that. Yeah, again, nothing. Let's check how I do it. <laughs> how I do it? A knife. Wait, you saw a code. I think you might have just seen the email address, right? It's definitely possible you saw the email. Okay, let's go back and have a look. So it was back on order. Okay, let's check the source code. Is there a key here? Uh, let's have a look. Oh! It, is it the code's here? This is the code! Holy shizzle, guys! There it is! Oh, my bad. Let's go, chat! Let's go! We got a code! Holy crap! That is awesome! Let's write this down. Nice! Code 1. All right, I feel good about that, guys. I feel great. Yo, good job, Tim. Very, very good eyes right there. Well done. Okay, hey, this is this is a really good start. Now, this game obviously it has it takes a long, long time. Like a single gameplay video on this could be hours depending on how fast paced we go and how long we survive for but yeah very slow paced game but so much fun content involved and like a ton of uh, anxiety just the atmosphere on this game is is really good it keeps you on edge at all times and I think it's based on the silence like there's no creepy horror music playing in the background it's just quiet and you can just hear, hear creaks and footsteps and uh the sound of the window like moving or opening and like subtle little sounds that, well, that's what keeps you creeped out and also the sounds of the websites that's what's so good about this the order of the nine angels we'll hover our mouse we'll check for codes and uh, I'm not seeing anything here so Let's click off. We're going to make that smaller. And my mouse is not changing to a different cursor, so there's nothing for me to click on here. So we'll just leave that one be. Let's go back. The window is still closed, which is good. Which I believe means we haven't uncovered, is it three or four codes? Red triangle. A crypto site. Perfect. Give me that crypto game. Ooh, nice. Be warned. Let's check the source code. 
No. Nope, nothing. Let's check the website now. Can I click on anything? I don't think so. No, I can't click on anything. That's okay. Let's go back. I think we'll get hacked soon, guys. It's shocking that we've gone this far without a single hack. But again, it's RNG, so... It's like me getting onto so many websites as well. Aliens. <laughs> you will die soon. Thanks, website. It's nice to know. I appreciate that. I mean, we're all going to die at some point, right? The arch. It's like a giant lightsaber. Oh, is that like a stairway to heaven? <laughs> the, the stairway to heaven's made from the sun? I like it. I'm guessing it'll be pretty hot to walk on. You're gonna burn your feet. You better wear slippers or something. <laughs> slippers, sandals. <laughs> okay. Let's go back. The aliens. I wonder what the aliens look like. Do I get a picture? I hope I hope they use good imagination here. <gasps> oh, come on, that's boring. It's just like if Slenderman was an alien. That's pretty typical. Like, st very stereotypical. Maybe not the suit, but the face and the eyes. It, it just looks, it looks like Lord Voldemort. <gasps> I shouldn't utter, utter his name out loud. That's dangerous. I will never say that again. Yeah, we've got 38 DOS coin from just not doing anything. I love it. And where, why you will die? I'm guessing Lord Voldemort and an archway made out of the sun's flames will be the cause of this. Oh, magnetic fields. Oh, okay. They better not do... Whatever they're doing to that guy's face, they better not do to mine. Yeah, again, no code. There's no code here. That's fine. And I can't click on anything. Make sure you leave a leave the continent. I thought that meant I thought that said leave a comment. Clearly, I've been on the internet too much. Thanatos. Half the people who click on this website will disintegrate into dust. I'm gonna move the Wi-Fi now. Yeah. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, officer. Ah! I should have moved the Wi Fi earlier. No. My bad. Help me. Oh, she's dead. Yeah, she, she's long gone. Thanks, police. She's dead now because of you. I hope you enjoyed this video and welcome to the game too. That was actually about almost 40 minutes of recording content just on that small attempt there. But for what it's worth, that was a really good attempt. We got a code, we got both the deep wikis, and uh, at least we only got caught by the police. We didn't get murdered. So I'd say that's a win-win. All right, everybody, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. And uh, yeah, we're going to counter the breather. So from what I recollect, how to counter the breather is you run straight to the storage room, you hide behind the door and you listen for three different sound cues, laughing, footsteps, or I believe it's like a phone call or something, like a ringing. And then you look at the door handle and as the door starts to open, I have to like hold down the, the left click button and like hold it, pre preventing him from coming in. And there's a stamina bar and um, as you hit, as the door starts to close, you let go and it recovers your stamina bar. And then you'll hear him walking away, but sometimes he comes back. So he it sounds incredibly, oh there we go, it sounds incredibly difficult to play against or to counter. Anyway, here we go, we've finally been hacked for the first time in like I god knows how long. So hopefully it's not too tricky of a hack. 
Let's have a look. Oh my lord. I can never do these. Oh god, I'm so slow though. There we go. I did it! Let's go everyone! <laughs> oh! Yes! Oh, we got 35 DOS coin. Nice. That is awesome. That means we can get another motion sensor when we come back. All right, we've shipped that. Let's disconnect our internet, which we've uh, hacked into the ethical hacker. And uh, yeah, let's uh, run straight down to that alleyway now and uh, encounter the breather. Oh God, I hope he's not down there. Maybe we'll get lucky. And as we go down into this alleyway, uh, there'll be no one there. And we can just grab our Amazon delivery, drone delivery parcels, and we can just be on our merry way. Uh, but yeah, I'm kind of freaking out right now. A lot, a lot of pressure here. There's tons of anxiety, everyone. This is uh, this part coming up now is the highest likelihood of me dying for a while. So I really have to nail this and not get butchered by the by the breather. Fingers crossed. Yo, Ethan, thank you for the follow. Okay, get my headset ready. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna run straight to the room. Go, 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 go! I tried to- No! I tried to! I tried to! I pressed the button! I pressed the left click button! Oh, I'm so sad right now. Help me! <sighs> now I'm the breather. Yeah, yeah, yeah.